The Hayes Caldwell Women's Center wants to expand its services to better help survivors of domestic violence. Right now, you can stay at the shelter for about a month. But with nowhere to go after that, many women and children end up either back in an abusive home or on the streets. The Hayes County, excuse me, the Hayes Caldwell Women's Center wants to build transitional housing to help. But as Kicksands Tara Rockman reports, they're behind schedule. Marla Johnson has seen it often in her 27 years at the Hayes Caldwell Women's Center. I was giving a tour at the shelter not too long ago, and there was a woman sitting on the back porch who had a three-year-old daughter. Women leave the shelter and go back to their abuser because they don't know where to go next. She didn't have a car. She d couldn't afford child care. There was no other option for her. It's why the Women's Center is now trying to build 18 units of transitional housing and two classrooms for young children. This will give them another option so that they can provide a really uh, quality environment for their kids while we work with them to figure out their next steps. The center will also be filling a geographical gap. Right now, survivors don't have any transitional housing between Austin and San Antonio. In the last three years, the number of people that we have served has increased 23 percent. The hope was to start constructing the new complex in the fall. But we've raised about four million dollars. We need to raise about another eight hundred thousand dollars. Despite being behind schedule, Johnson is confident in the community. I feel really encouraged, actually. I feel like we really turned a corner. There's a lot of people who know about abuse now. People believe that it really does happen. And I really see the community wanting to do something about it. Tahira Rahman, KXAN News.